In this video, I'm gonna show you how to tie a solid bag rig, how to fill a PVA bag with your rig and bait inside, and also cover the angling situations where this rig works best. The solid PVA bag allows you to present a tight patch of bait around your rig at the same time as giving you a presentation which is very unlikely to ever tangle. With solid PVA bags, you can also have a number prepared in advance before your session, which means when you're on the bank, you don't need to spend loads of time tying new ones up. It means that once you catch a fish, you can unloop your old rig and then put a fresh bag on very quickly. The first thing I want to do is show you how to tie a rig to use inside a solid bag. So for this, you'll need the following items. Some soft, uncoated braid, your hook of choice, this is a size eight wide gape. You will also need some shrink tube, silicon tubing, a ring swivel, and boily stops. Lastly, you'll also want to have some scissors, a splicing needle, and your chosen hook bait. Cut off about six to eight inches of braid. In one end of this, you'll need to tie a small overhand loop. This loop will hold your hook bait. Mount your bait by pushing it onto a baiting needle and then threading it down onto the loop before tucking in a boily stop to hold it in place. We like to put on our hook bait before attaching the hook so it's easier to get the hair length right. Cut a small piece of silicon tubing, approximately three millimeters long and thread it onto the braid with a splicing needle. Push the hook point in and through the silicon, threading it onto and round the hook, finishing up opposite to the hook's barb. Now thread the braid through the hook eye towards the point. Pull it through and then begin to tie a knotless knot. We normally use around seven turns before threading the braid back through the hook eye again towards the point. To finish off the hook area of the rig, you'll want to cut just under one centimeter of shrink tube and then thread it onto the rig. Over some steam from a kettle, shrink the tubing down at an angle which extends the hook's curve. The shape aids the hook point in turning and catching into a fish's mouth. At the other end of the rig, tie it off to a swivel. The swivel will sit inside the inline lead, but we'll get to the lead arrangement next. We use a blood knot to attach the rig to the swivel, but a uni or palomar knot also works. There you have a finished solid bag rig. This is our ideal choice of rig to use because it's very short and also it's made of a supple material. This means it's very easily tucked inside the solid PVA bag along with the bait. It's also good because the short length helps hooking capability. The fish will take the bait and very quickly come into contact with the lead and help with hookups. Now to prepare your lead arrangement, you'll need a couple of other items. Firstly, an inline lead. We like to use a two ounce lead for most of our solid bag fishing. A solid bag tail rubber and some easy splice leader like this Duracord will also be needed. Take a foot and a half of leader and cut it from the spool. In one end, you'll need to splice a loop. This loop will be where you attach your main line. Slip the splicing needle inside the material and slide it up before popping back out an inch or so further up. Use the latch to trap the end of the leader and pull it back through inside itself. Remove the needle and pull this loop tight. The leader beds down and tightens down on itself, creating a solid loop. No glue or knots are needed. At the other end, you'll need to repeat this splicing process but thread the swivel onto the leader before pulling it back through inside itself. Now you have your leader and lead attached. Next, take your lead and cut a few millimeters off the end of the lead insert with some scissors. Now take a solid bag tail rubber and thread it onto your main line coming from your reel. Take your lead and thread that on too. In the end of your main line, you'll need to tie a figure of eight loop knot. This loop needs to be large enough to pass a solid PVA bag through it, allowing you to loop on a fresh bag later in your session. Now pass this loop through the loop on your leader and then over your whole rig. Tighten these loops down and you're nearly ready to go. Your lead will slide down onto your leader followed by the tail rubber, all fitting together neatly at the end. There is a good reason for this extended tail rubber as the PVA bag will wrap around it to seal the bag neatly. We'll get on to actually making the PVA bag next. Our favorite choice of bait to use inside a solid bag are a mix of small pellets. These are our preferred choice because they pack down into the bag really neatly and they also fill up all the air gaps, which means you're less likely to have a floating solid PVA bag. 
You can also use ground bait or breadcrumbs. Uh, any, any fine dry bait material will work. Just try and avoid using large pellets or whole boilies because this will mean there's a lot of air trapped inside the bag and also it won't fly very uh, aerodynamically when you cast it out, so it won't go very far. If you're aiming to cast a long way, then the best combination to use is a small size PVA bag filled with micro or small pellets. This creates the perfect shape bag. The larger sizes are more suited to casting shorter distance. Let's look at how to make up a PVA bag. Take your solid bag from the pack and open up the end. Lay a small amount of bait in the bottom followed by your lead. Try to keep the lead central in the bag. If it sits to one side, the cast may be less accurate. Continue filling the bag with pellets either side of the lead and then add your hook bait. We like to push the hook bait to one side. Fill the rest of the bag, leaving enough room to grip the top. Tap and tighten down the bag to compact it and then lick the top part of the bag before twisting it around the tail rubber tightly. The wetted PVA will melt and stick to itself, gripping the tail rubber and sealing the bag. This will cast out fine, but if you are going for a long and accurate cast, it can help to tap down the corners, then lick and stick them down. This will make it neater and cast straighter. Finally, puncture a few holes in either side of the bag using a baiting needle. This will allow for trapped air to escape the bag and ensure it doesn't float up once it's half melted, spreading the bait around. That's you ready to fish. Remember though, you can prepare a lot before your session when using solid bags. Some people we know tie up to 20 or 30 solid bags before their session so they can be extra prepared. So when they're on the water, they don't need to spend any time tying new bags up. They can simply loop on a new rig after each fish they catch, get it back out there, and it saves a lot of time on the bank. To be honest though, Carl and I aren't exactly that prepared when we go fishing, so we normally just have a couple but it's something that will help you on the bank. Before you make a new PVA bag with a rig that you've just reeled in, be sure to dry it out. Just have a tea towel with you so you can dry it out for a few minutes or dip it in some flour. I know some people use maize flour to just dry out the rig before making a fresh PVA bag. Otherwise your lead being wet will melt the PVA, which you don't want. You can also feed around your solid bag. You could either throw some bait out around it, or even spot out a mix of bait over the top. To be honest, most of the time when we are fishing, we normally get to the water. If we see some fish jumping or some signs of fish, we will quickly cast a solid bag. It's a great tactic to use when you first arrive at a new water because it allows you to not only cast a hook bait out, but also have a very tight patch of bait, which can produce very quick bites. The solid bag fishes well over gravel, silt, clay, lake beds, even over low-lying weed. The only time I wouldn't use a solid bag is if it's very weedy. If there's weed right up to the surface, then I definitely wouldn't fish a solid bag. But if there's a little bit of low-lying weed, the PVA bag is actually, it actually helps flatten a small patch of weed where your, where your bait is and ensures that your rig is perfectly presented and accessible to the carp. The solid bag tactic works really well on higher stocked waters, including many of the day tickets across the UK. However, if you're faced with a water with lots of bream, these can often get to the solid bags a lot quicker than the carp will and will munch through all that small pellet and not give the carp a chance. So that's when I'd probably lean towards more of a boilie based approach. If you would like to learn about how to fish with boilies, then here is a full in-depth guide. So go check that out and we'll see you next time.